because in nature there are huge levels of mortality and failure. How long it takes really to get to put a tree of that kind of diameter in, to get it really established. Being part of that process, you know, this I think ends up being really enriching for people. It builds a lot of patience and understanding. People see a piece of land, right, and they see the unevenness of it and it bothers them that it should be level. You know, you're thinking, I want my kids to be able to throw a football or kick a soccer ball. So if that land has a bit of play to it, they know they can change that, right? So they do. I grew up in the suburbs. I grew up in a, uh, I think what would be termed a biologically dead neighborhood, except for the people, right? You know, it had been forest, it had been farm, and it became, you know, suburban neighborhood. That they were constantly intervening, constantly having to redig through the road into people's yards. And so even the things that they planted suffered from that. And you go there today, nothing is the stature that it should be. People too easily make everything just, you know, a, a throwaway. But you know, nature doesn't give up on these things quite so easily either. Sometimes see trees in the woods or something and you can see evidence of really catastrophic events that happened one decade, two decade, or you know, just many decades ago. And they found their way again. Think if you're a farmer, right? If you have a poor growing season, crop fails or it's about to fail or something like that. I mean, your livelihood depends upon somehow finding a way through that process. I always found it interesting that the Northern Hemisphere, right? You know, the people figured it out, right? They figured out how to, you know, store food, enough food to make it through the winter. Not just through the winter, but till the next crop. Well, I do like seasonality quite a bit because we're moving into the autumn now. That sense of senescence, you know, that's coming on, of dormancy. You get to start afresh, you get to start new. They all become sort of great metaphors for how people, should, people run their lives. It was this way, you know, once all through these areas. You know, before people came, you know, these were incredibly rich, diverse environments. And it's kind of fallen away from that. Right? And so when you come upon place, come upon places that you know have that again or building that, you know, it's really wonderful.